Security measures have been increased on both sides of the Atlantic because of fears that extremists might target troops, police or government buildings. America's Homeland Security Department announced it's expanding its presence at key sites citing fears about attacks by lone offenders. National security analyst Arish Aramis joins me from San Francisco. So uh, why exactly is this happening now? Uh, Gamal, uh, today Secretary of Homeland Security, Jay Johnson, instructed his agency, which is in charge of either protecting federal buildings or instructing other agencies to protect their federal facilities to increase security in and around their buildings. There are a number of reasons, but the Secretary, Secretary Johnson, uh, specifically mentioned that there were no specific threats at this time. However, uh, these, uh, uh, these actions are being taken as precautionary measures to prevent an act. Why now? We just had this terrorist attack in Ottawa, in Canada, where a lone wolf, a self-radicalized convert, uh, grabbed a gun, went to the war memorial, shot a soldier, then went to the parliament, tried to kill more people, and then he, went, he was gunned down. Uh, we do not want to have that sort of scenario repeated, repeating itself. And you also don't want that sort of uh, action and that sort of lone wolf plot to become a model or a sort of a pattern for other lone wolves who uh, are either society's rejects or what have you to do the exact same thing. So A, this increase in security would act as a deterrent and B, would also spot and perhaps arrest and take out I want to take action or do anything at federal buildings or federal facilities. And, uh, uh, and how concerned should people be uh, with these alerts? Are they evidence of an imminent attack? Apparently not. That's not what the Secretary of Homeland S Security stated in his press release. No, uh, there is no imminent and clear danger, however, or present danger. Uh, but, uh, you know, we are we have been in this global war against terror and terrorism uh, since 9-11. And this is not going to go anywhere. We're going to be continuing this battle for many years to come. And this is not just a battle in the you know, military sense of a battle, but it's a, it's a law enforcement battle. It's an intelligence and counterintelligence battle. And it's something that we have to get used to. But uh, do, am I, as an American, going to change my habits tomorrow morning out of fear? Absolutely not. And I you know, I'd encourage everybody not to do the same, uh, to do the same, as a matter of fact. But uh, should we take these threats seriously? We should. Uh, should we stay home because of these threats? No. Our federal agents and federal protective uh, law enforcement agencies doing what they can. Uh, they're doing the best they can. Uh, quickly, uh, you know, the Halloween is coming up. It's upon us in the United States. That could be an opportunity for some uh, terrorists to strike. And then right after Halloween, when we go to November, about a month away from today, we have Thanksgiving, the busiest time of the year for travel, especially for air travel. And then we got Christmas and New Year's and other holidays upon us. So uh, the next two to three months are going to be very uh, alert heavy and also very security heavy because of heavy air traffic, uh, tight travel, and also holiday season. So we should expect some of this coming soon. Okay, Arish, we'll leave it there. Arish Aramish joining us from uh, San Francisco.